Hi guys, in this video I want to talk to you about one of the biggest mistakes I made at the beginning when I started making didgeridoos. This happens because I did not know anything about acoustic at that time and so as many of you probably think, uh, I thought um, the didgeridoo was um, an instrument that could make uh, what we call uh, back pressure uh, due to its shape uh, but not for the acoustic reasons, but for uh, fluidodynamic uh, laws, uh, and it is completely wrong. So I expected that the back pressure is higher because the diameter is an, uh, more narrow than other, and this may be also correct for uh, acoustic reasons, but this was the only point that was correct. So yeah, if I have a smaller mouthpiece, I have. Uh, I, I can have uh, an higher back pressure, but it is not only. So I also expected to have, uh, with a cylindrical pipe, uh, more resistance of, uh, to the flow, the, the air flow. And so I expected to have a cylindrical pipe uh, with uh, higher back pressure. And it is completely wrong. So I don't want to explain you again uh, how the back pressure works, because you can find uh, uh, in the first comment below this video on YouTube, you can find a comment where uh, I highlight the link where to discover everything about the back pressure. So this instrument is made from Robinia and it was made um, 23 years ago, 22 years ago. And it was used uh, during uh, the last didgeridoo workshop, uh, um, the three days retiro of the didgeridoo. Um, and Kyle uh, Maplesden uh, used it uh, to show some uh, traditional style from uh, Western Arnhem Land. And so uh, I propose to you uh, the, the sound of him uh, playing this instrument. And this is three. And then you start again. You breathe it together. So. When I did this didgeridoo, I did not know also pretty nothing about um, traditional music. I had some short samples, but it was impossible uh, at the time since uh, uh, YouTube was not available, um, music on the net was pretty uh, impossible to listen to it because uh, files were too heavy and the connection was too very, very, very uh, slow. And trust me, it was not possible to find CDs on, on a shop. So we had to, to look for music uh, in different uh, situations like festivals. And yeah, uh, even traditional music was not so common. So. I made this instrument that is mm, good for um, Western land styles. Uh, maybe Kylie can also make a comment below uh, and can give you more uh, uh, information about this point. And this is how I could use it uh, for uh, mm, contemporary uh, didgeridoo music. Uh, the keynote is F sharp, so it is very, very high, and this is how it sounds. So thank you very much and see you in the next video.